Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What kind of fantasy world have we found ourselves in now? We're kind of home, but we're not home. Is this a dream, or is this just fantasy? Is this real life? Queen, tell me the answer. Actually, no, I can't even talk to my queen because I can't make it back to the castle because the bridge has conveniently disappeared. So we just spent the rest of the last two parts getting all the keys to open up this door, which, again, I don't think are real. I think these are just mental blocks in his memory that he's filling in, trying to convince himself that everything he did was worth it. But we'll know more when we take a few more steps out this way. I hope. So, I thought this is where all the spiniferous thornweeds were all ripped up and torn asunder. I guess not. Uh, spiniferous thornweeds aplenty. There's the well, that ill-fated well where we first started this, well, whole adventure. Oh, and that fateful first walk with my cape once a-flowing. How come I'm not wearing my cape anymore? Am I not known as Pockets? Yeah, this is the opening scenes of chapter one. Yep, I remember you. Hi, Murray the skeleton. How you doing? Still still there? It's great. I'm gonna feel that for the next ten years. Hey, you still gotta make it back up again, dude. Good luck with that. So, I guess I'm just gonna check on the, uh... Oh, that's right. This is where Manny lived. He lived down here with a dragon. I don't remember adventures being so hard on the knees. And apparently that dragon also had a name. It was a very goofy oh, name. Leg day. I need to strengthen these ankles day. I forgot what it was. It started with an M, but it seemed kind of weird that we had to have... I don't know. It, it was Manny's dragon, after all. He trained the dragon and just sort of affected a name upon him. Oh, wow. Does it really want to do these puzzles again? Because it will. And I like that we're, now that we're back here, we did sort of solve the bed problem. Like, we know why all of our beds went missing for that one little princess, so they could reenact the princess and the pea thing. But there's still a lot of mattresses laying around, so I guess I didn't need all of them. Oh, there's Mordak. He should be here any second. You know how I feel about that name. Fine, Mordak. Open your eyes. Look alive. Don't screw this up. Screw this up. Might I remind you, it's my magic keeping you alive. Yes, and when your magic concocts a working batch of Cosmolotion, I'll praise you. But my patience has grown thin, and I will not tolerate any more mistakes. Oh dear, I have a feeling that there's going to be a showdown between Mordak and Manassians. You wouldn't hear it. I've wasted 30 years of my life trying to duplicate Hagatha's formula. And I'm afraid at this point, I'm ready to move forward or move on. Is your mind slipping in your golden years? Have you forgotten everything I've sacrificed for you? I took you in from the cold. I saved you from a life of goblin slavery. And you have the gall to complain about 30 measly years? Well... Sometimes it still feels like I'm a slave to a goblin. Hold your tongue, Morden. Or I will. With what? What are you? Are you invisible? Where? What is Mananin? Is he still a cat? Or is it going to be like, is that a cat got your tongue joke? Because that'd be kind of cute. All right, so Manan and Mordak are setting up some sort of elaborate trap for me, so maybe some of this is gripped in reality. Yeah, there's Mordak just chilling out up there. Uh, what's he going to do to me now? I'm just an old man. Any revenge you should have enacted should have been done years ago. But I don't have to talk to him yet. I can still play. No, I can't. Nothing I can do until I talk to Mordak. All right. I wonder if we've ever gotten past that whole stole your cap your castle and kidnapped your family thing from years ago. Hi. Mordak, didn't I extinguish your flame years ago? I was hiding under the floorboards. I knew it. Ah. How's the family? Getting along surprisingly well since you shrunk them. So glad to hear that. Uh-huh. You mind moving out of the way? I have some business to attend to with your boss. Oh. Mananin has strictly forbidden me to let you pass. Unless you can convince me that your mind is still strong and quick. 
And how might I go about that? Follow those clearly labeled signposts. Of course. Bring me back proof that you have completed each trial, and then I will escort you to Mananin. I know you won't answer honestly, but I'll ask anyway. Is all this some form of an elaborate trap designed to crush my bones, yank my arms out, or contort my body into a twisted sculpture of death? No. <laughs> Sounds like some good clean fun. I think he's like, no, and nods his head at the same time. This still doesn't have the air of reality to it. Like, I'm kind of glad that he and Mordak are just sort of, like, congenial, like, frenemies at this point. It's like, how's the family? It's like, yeah, you shrunk him. It's like, I sure did. How you doing there, buddy? Pat, pat, pat. But the fact that they would lay out, like, these signposts for me still rings of unreality. I'm not sure. All right, crystals this way. Got it. Okay, great. It still feels like I'm only proving that my mind is still quick and strong to myself and to my granddaughter to no one else. This is still a story coming out of Graham's mouth, telling it to his grandchild. And she's like, sure you did, Grandpa. And he's like, no, no, I really did. Apparently I'm Mr. Red. <laughs> Wilbur. So I'm literally on a pilgrimage to retrace my steps. I can't figure out if something just broke or snapped back into place. I mean, is this all just for nostalgia's sake that we're retracing the steps from the first game? And this wasn't here before. What are you? Oh, oh hang in there, Graham. You're doing all right. Oh, oh, down he goes. Grandpa needs a nap. Grandpa, are you all right? Oh, I don't... I, I, I just, man, I haven't thought about these stories in a, in a long time. Uh -huh. Your ears are all red. Just give me a moment. This part gets a little wacky. I think I should rest a bit first. You mind getting Grandma in here? I'll be back after your nap. Uh, nap. Well, we still got more of the game to play, so I don't think he's going to die in his sleep just yet. Oh, best of wives and best of women. Get your rest, dear. I'll be back after dinner. I'll be fine. Take your time. Just ring the bell if you need me. Good night, my love. Oh. So he's got, uh, he's got some sort of a plan. Oh, he's actually getting up out of bed. Good man. Yeah, take your first shaky steps out of the real bed in your non-dream world. That's all this has been, just him reliving his glory days in his old age. Remember your promise. Oh, yeah, give him one more. But I really hope he doesn't try to go out and have another adventure and then that's how his adventure ends. He's gonna fall over. Your teeth look great though for 77. Oh. 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 Can't even reach the bell. Oh, my life for a medic alert bracelet. Life alert. Oh, Mananen. Is that the invisible one? I wondered where you went off to. Who else would talk to him? No. It's not time yet. I was promised another. Is that the grim specter of death in that chair? I'll fight it, I assure you. But... Oh, I'm afraid you're right. You've always been a straight shooter. It's true. A Chaka? The mirror never promised I would live another adventure. Only that my adventure would live on. Just let me say goodbye. It is a Chaka. He's the... the form my 
destiny has assumed. Like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man of Anata of Destiny. Do you smell that germite, Graham? It's a toxic fume, I'm afraid. One that is said to challenge the strength of the mind. Now, another theory comes to mind is that Oh, look at this. Oh, I got the beard and everything. Now, before, this is great, but um, there's also, I may be cursed by Mananan, and the things that are happening in my little dream world, my story, are also parallels of things that are happening in the real world. Your memory is fading. To prove that your mind is still strong, you must survive your own thoughts. Talk to my precious Alexander. Oh, no. Is this him saying goodbye? Oh, this takes. This is even sadder now. Queen Valenys pleads with you to stay. Dear, you are pushing yourself too hard. Please don't engage with Manan and stay here and be with our family. I could never leave the kingdom in this wretched state for our children. All right, Mir, what do you got? You see a man who has a lot of unresolved business to attend to. That's me. Hey, Alexander. I love how they have his regular dress, but also adds the beard. My precious Alexander. Rosella and I can work to restore the kingdom. Please let us help. You don't need to face Manhattan alone. I'm afraid I have to, son. All right, Rosella, my precious Rosella, my sweet Rosella. Dad, you've given us everything we need. Now, all we need now is you. There are still plenty of treasures I wish to leave for you. So this is his basic admission that's like they just want him to stay and like live out his final days here with them. And he's like, no, I have to make sure my adventure lives on with you. I need to make sure that my Daventry is worthy of your succession, etc., etc. What's this? You find a golden locket on the ground and put it in your pocket. You're not sure what this treasure is for, but you're sure you're going to need it later. Yep, I got a point for that. Wow, this is a pretty faithful recreation in widescreen. <gasps> even Achaka's over here and like, is this even 8-bit? Behind Achaka's bust, you see a random string of pearls. Get pearls. You pick up the valuable but useless pearls and store them in your seemingly endless pockets. What if I hit tab? Will that bring up my, my old school inventory? Ah, oh, it doesn't. Damn, can I type? No, I can't type. Okay. Uh, anything hidden behind these other ones? I'm really, Graham is really delirious at this point, I'm afraid. Beautiful. Now, you know, we have to, it's like, oh, there they are. There's the croctopuses or whatever they were. The music. Oh my God, the ant song. The ants, because the ants are the, we're coming to help King Graham, oh gosh. These small bushes in the background hold vast amounts of valuable, use useless treasure. You store it all in your magically never-filled pockets. I just want to listen to the music. I can't fall into the river, though, which is kind of sad. That would be a nice Easter egg, because Graham couldn't swim in the first game. Oh, you can't fall off the bridge. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, that's automatic. Yep. Uh, swim. Oh, blop. We at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are very sorry that you did not succeed, and hope that you fare better next time. Good luck. Only got seven out of eight points. Oh, <gasps> King's Quest. Wow. This is incredible. Look at this. The, this King's Quest Six lovingly recreated, not the original art, but they sort of redid it. And the fact that they made a King's... In, in eight directions, no less... A King's Quest... I, I'm, I'm speechless. This is incredible. I want this sprite. Hello, Skellington. Now, it obviously wants me to play these xylophones, but I'm just really... I gotta soak all this in. This is one of my very favorite parts of King's Quest VI. I remember I uh, I was playing this as a kid, and I thought this xylophone was so cool, and these, these, xyl these um, skeletons came out from over here and did a little can-can while you're playing the song. And I made my parents, like, come over and watch it with me, like, five times. It, I'm not sure how to feel right now.
Oh, it's Skeleton Whisper and Skeleton Acorn. This is very Monkey Island feeling in a way. Dancing Dead. That, they treat it like that's an Easter egg, but that's just a love letter. This whole series of games, this has just been a complete love letter to its source material. Wait. I don't actually want to go in there. This has become a very strong death metaphor. This is not even. It's gone past death metaphor. This has begun. Okay. Uh. This music. Help me place this. Was this from King's Quest Five or Six, or is it from this game? I can't remember. They're all blending together at this point. I'm. I feel like I should be narrating more, but I just. I'm so stunned and heartwarmed by everything happening, but also kind of horrified. Graham? Is that you? He looks so old and pickled. Not the good kind. Chester? Muriel? Wait. If you're here, does that mean that I am... Oh, calm down, honey. It's hardly your time yet. We're just here to help you navigate your own imagination. Ah, I'm here for the snacks. You, sir, have some delicious memories. Chester Hobblepot, we're here to feed Graham's mind, not your belly. Oh, Muriel, can't we do both? Every other thought in here is a popcorn-flavored jelly bean. I wouldn't mind some friendly advice. Perhaps on outsmarting Manny, or how I can make sure the legacy of King Graham the Wise will not be left behind. Uh, haven't we taught you anything? Legacies are not about what you leave behind for people. They're about what you leave inside of people. Uh-huh. Your kingdom is best left for the young, Beery. That's it? You don't have any quips or an item to give me that will eventually solve all my troubles? We've given all we have to give. You're gonna have to figure out the rest of it alone. I also noticed that they sort of blew out the, uh, the, the, the speech there a little bit to kind of match the compression of what used to be back in the CD-ROM days. All right, wake up, Graham. Wake up. Wake, Wake up. up, Graham. Your mind is strong. <gasps> there you go. Oh. All right, they try to drug me, but I'm all right. I think that I just I I'm still digesting what I've seen. I feel like I'm dreaming myself. And these remind me of the crystals back from King's Quest 5 in the crystal caves, but apparently this is germite. Chromium lock, proof my line was still quick and then proof my mind was still strong. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, I'm literally just proving this to myself. This means nothing to anyone but me. But then again, Graham's life has been a lot about him giving to other people. He never really took any time for himself. Maybe this is his mind kind of catching him up on that. See, all of this is leading up to the fact that we haven't seen the dragon in forever, and he did appear in the, in the trailer. But again, they might just be kind of messing with us again. Ooh, swords. I could use one of those. No, oh, okay, fine. All right, Mordak, here's your crystals. I'm still good for it. You have your proof yet? Great. Set that over there, and let me know when you've completed the trial of speed. Okay, can I give him the lock too? Is that a thing? Excellent. Right this way, please. Oh. Uh, that wasn't the trial of speed, but okay. All right. So apparently. Well, where is he? Meow. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You wish to challenge me like this? Careful what you say, King. My species has no bearing on my abilities. I have no problems with cats, Manny. Or goblins or sphinxes. 
My issues are all with you. No matter. The duel hasn't even begun, yet I've already won. Are you aware that you've hand-delivered everything I need to complete another batch of Cosmolotion? Shocker. Allow me to explain that you, King Graham the Imbecile... Just kick him off the cliff. again... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wax poetic for two more hours, won't you? Pardon my vacant expression, though. I can barely hear out of my left ear anymore. Fine. Have it your way. I'll speak with brevity. Long sentences. Drawn out syllables to emphasize a point. Raising my voice. More sesquipedalian words. Overuse of the term moron. And I'll need a hair from your beard for my final <laughs> <laughs> Love it. She was so down. Meet me at the floating island. Good chat. All right, Manny, how you feeling? There he goes. There, oh, I hope that's painful for you. You're probably better off as a cat, honestly. Yeah. Definitely better off as a cat. Okay, but what's your grand scheme here, Manny? Or is there a grand scheme? Dad, we brought you some treats. Uh oh. Dad? Am I even oh. still alive? No, okay, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Grandpa! My pancakes! Oh. Dad, say something. Something? He would. Oh. Gwendolyn, go get the nursemaids. No. Oh. What do you want me to do? What, what can I get you? You want mom? Mom! Story. Sorry? No, story. The story. Help me finish it. Let's get him back in bed. Grab his feet. Oh, don't let her see me like this. I couldn't reach the bell. I should have known you would try to escape. <laughs> I thought I needed one more adventure. One last trophy to hang on these shelves. But the only treasures I need are standing right beside me. Oh, well, the whole family all together. It's okay, love. No fire. You can stop fighting. It's time. Not before my story is done. That's right. You have to finish it. Me? I don't know how it ends. I'll help you. I, I can't. I'm not ready. Gart should tell it. Grandfather is passing his hat to you. I think you should take it. Grandpa, the greatest adventurer to ever live, would do anything in his power to protect his family. As the sun set atop the floating island, Mordak placed the final goblet down 
for a toxic duel of wits. That's a great start. Welcome, friend. I'm glad you could make it. Mananan restored himself back into human form using the ingredients Grandpa had unknowingly brought to him. But he was weak. The germite crystal was the only thing keeping him alive. Mordak has carefully designed a series of trials to test our wits. Don't worry, he hasn't given me any answers. Some of the goblets have been topped with hypnotic powder. We will complete each station individually. If you drink from any of the tainted cups, you will lose and be under my spell, and vice versa. The goblets have been set up in stations, each with their own rules. I'll spare you the long speech and just let you read the rules. Ready to prove a goblin is smarter than a man? Okay, and Manan poofs off into God knows where. Okay, listen, game. We're we're not even to the ending yet, and you've already like give me give me a second here. My there's something in my eye. Okay. No, it's just I have a I have a cold. Okay. Stay away from that. It's not needed yet. Now I also have a feeling that Mordak over here is going to be the linchpin to this entire thing. Because no matter what happens, Mord Mor uh Mananan's going to be all like, Mordak, you're such a jackass. And Mordak's going to be like, you know what? I think I've had, had about enough of you, Karak. And he's going to break that in twain. I wish you would hurry this along. I am putting in my resignation from the Brotherhood after you two are done playing this ridiculous game. Wow. So Mordak feels like he was kind of doing this whole thing against his will. It was, it was Mananan pulling the strings the whole time. Interesting. There was one clue for each set of goblets. Someone must have thought themselves pretty clever. You're doing great, sweetheart. Okay, so what's the rules here? Oh. Uh, three brothers wave, two of them knights, the other a knave. Knaves lie without fear, knights are truthful. Lend them your ear, only one cup is neutral. Three brothers wave. Only one goblet was safe to drink from. All right, time to get out my trusty moleskin notebook. All right, out of everything I've done, it all rolls back to cup three being the winner because no one ever mentions cup three. And they all, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Finish this one too. Simple, really. All right, so I was probably putting a little bit too much effort into that one. I made like a whole page full of notes too. I was really proud of myself. All right, puzzle number two. I like these. All right, uh, which four goblets are safe to drink? This puzzle will reveal the link. Trolls carry napkins to wipe fruit juice from their chest. Dragons never eat grapes for the flavor they detest. Snoots and trolls. All right, so there's four safe to drink in here. So trolls like juicy fruit that they peel, which leads us to orange. Dragons don't eat grapes, so that solves that. Snoots and trolls peel their food before they ingest. Uh, so which means snoots probably like the bananas, unless they peel grapes, because that's weird. Dragons don't eat grapes, so they eat apples by default, which means the badger eats the um, uh, grapes. Neither of us are hypnotized, so... Let's continue on. All righty. He seems kind of kind of annoyed that I'm not hypnotized already. All right. Even Mordak's like, oh, you guys. All right. More puzzles. Let's do it. Guards stand in formation. In rows, they will align. Pay attention to their location. No guards repeat on the same line. Find threes in their station, and your cups will taste just fine. So it's kind of like... A Sudoku puzzle, in a way. Find the threes in their station, and the cups will taste just fine. Okay, so just find out where the threes go. Yeah, it's it's Sudoku. <laughs> Not really much of a challenge for minds like ours. Hmm. It almost seems like uh, Menen's going to be kind of sad when this is all over. All right. Over we go. Mine's still sharp. I can do this. 
Each digit revi reveals a set of adjacent black squares in the corresponding row or column. Multiple digits in a row or column reveals multiple sets of consecutive black squares separated by at least one square. Fifteen of these cups are safe to drink, so I could probably brute force with this if I want, but... Uh, let's have some fun with it. Uh, I just kind of winged this one, but it seems like what they're after, so it's like one, 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 five in this row. This one, oh, this one needs one, one. Oh, so that's this. Uh, one and one. Yeah, it makes a little tower. Uh, and then three, and then two, four, two, and then one, four, and two. Yeah, so that's fine, so... Mordak, you could have made these a little more challenging. All right, these are these are kind of cute little puzzles. I like them. Let's hope they don't get too complex, but I'm enjoying it so far. I think Mordak's running out of patience, though. Okay. Oh man, math puzzles. Great. Kings can be brave, compassionate, or wise, but there's only one path that leads to all three. To find the cup that is safe to drink, you must follow the path that begins on a triangle and ends on a three. So three is the magic number. Okay, got it. After a little bit of trial and error, I found, you know, they got six minus five is one plus, th plus two equals three. And that's the only one that equals three. So it's got to be this one. One more to go. Think you can handle it? Alrighty, come on, one more of these, we can do it. Let's go. A good king looks toward the future, but is always conscious of what he is leaving behind. Ah, I see. So this refers to all the little cards that were on there, so... Hmm, at first I thought it meant, like, the solution to all these puzzles, like the number equated to it, would equal this, but... That didn't equal up, and I didn't know how to add it all together. Or it was like how many cups were left behind at each station. And that's not equaling up either, because some of them had... There was one four, but there were two twelves. Uh, oh, there are two twelves. Oh. So maybe that's the answer. So uh, four was on this table. There were ten left there. Three, twelve, and twelve. The duel was at a standstill. Neither competitor could prove they were smarter than the other. Huh. I was afraid of this, friend. Although you started out as a lanky bumble ward, over the years my trials have conditioned your wits to equal mine. No matter. I have a backup plan. This flame enchantment will ensure neither of us can leave until the other is perished. I don't like that. How about instead of wits, we engage in a lethal game of chance? Grandpa had no choice but to play the game. He was trapped and his kingdom was on the line. I won this set of goblets from a game of wits with Lord Sarwen. One of them holds an irreversible, eradicating elixir. A powerful magic that will slowly destroy whatever it touches from the inside out. There are no special markings or any way to puzzle out which is the poisoned vessel. <laughs> if there was, I would have slipped it into the batter of your breakfast years ago. What fun would that have been? We'll each take turns choosing a goblet to drink from until they're all gone, and the better man wins. We'll see how this you qualifies the first. better man. Grandpa was at a loss. For the first time in his life, the four E's of puzzle solving could not inform his decision. There was no logic to puzzle out. No clues or hints. Just a simple choice of life or death. Okay. All right. I can't back out of this. And I have nothing in my inventory. I wonder what ever happened to that box that they, uh, the Hobblepots gave me last time. Take your time. There's no strategy here. Just blind luck. 
Something you've always excelled at. Hey, I invented the four E's, jerk. Leave that alone. It's just a decorative prop. No, it's not. Something's up here. Okay, I'm Something a little bit worried about this one, so at. I think we're going to have to save this one for the finale, because I spent a lot of time trying to puzzle out these puzzlers. So let's leave it here, and I will rejoin you guys in just a moment. Take your time. Yeah, There's take your no time. Strategy here. Shot. So until next time, good night, jelly beans. Good night.